Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this episode, we're going to create a back for our card. And we're also going to create a boolean that when we click it, will display the back of our card. So that as we develop our game, we can have some cards face down and some cards face up for us to view. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Canvas. We're going to left click it and then we're going to right click it. We're going to go down here to UI and we're going to click image. And right here, we'll put an image right on the top of our card. Now, if you go over here to our actual card, it says it has a width of 200 and a height of 300. So our back of our card, we want it to be the same. So we're going to give it a width of 200 and a height of 300 so that it is the same size as our card on the front. Also, we're just gonna take this, we're gonna right click it, we're gonna go to rename, and we're gonna call this card back. Now, this is just a regular image and you can take an image off the internet or make an image, and you can put it here to be the back of your card. For example, if I wanted it to be Cyber Girl, I could just take it and boom, that image is Cyber Girl, but I'm not gonna do that actually. And also, because Cyber Girl is this PNG image with no backing, it's just not going to look right anyway. But that just goes to show you what you can do with that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to color and I'm just going to go down here and I'm just going to make it a dark gray just so the back of my card is obviously not the front of the card. So now we're going to go into our C sharp scripts folder. We're going to go to our display card script. And then we're gonna create two new variables. We're going to create a public bool and we're gonna call it hardback. And we're going to create a public static bool. And we're gonna just simply call it static hardback. And so, oh, we just got to spell bool right. So to go over what a static bool is or anything static, when we're writing anything static. So let's see if we can find, I don't think we have any functions in this script. That's not what I wanted. Let's go to our card. Okay, so here we have a, a regular function. So we have this public function right here and we, Put information into it but the point is that when we're talking about functions we're kind of talking about something we can call over and over again i mean we don't call this over and over again but see it as a excuse me see it like almost like a button and you can push the button and it does something you can always call your function same thing with your variables your variables are kind of these things you can call at different parts of your code however when we talk about a static bool function it can only be called once. I can use variables over and over again. I can use functions over and over again, but a static anything, be it a bool or variable, can only be used once. So let's go down here to our void update. Actually, let's just go put it here in our start. Actually, let's no, let's put it into the update. So in our update, we're going to simply say that our static card back is going to equal our regular card back and you'll see in a minute why we're doing this we're going to hit save up here and we're going to go here to our to unity and we're going to just let this compile a second tells me to hold on and then i'm going to create a new c sharp script and i'm going to call that c sharp script card back i'm going to open this up and in this C sharp script, we're going to create a public game object. And we're going to call our public game object card back. Actually, let's put that a capital C. And in our void update down here, we're going to say if display card dot static card back 
is equal to true. And remember, when we're using if statements, when we when we use an equal sign, we put two equal signs. Then our card back dot set active is going to be true. I'll put a semicolon at the end of that, or else card back dot set active is going to be false. So we're basically saying that if this is true, if our if our static card back is equal to true, then our card back is active, then we can see the back of the card. And if not, then it's going to be false and we're not going to see the back of the card. So we'll hit save here. Oh, actually, I created a couple mistakes here. I think I did this last time also, or a previous video. So card back here can't be spelled the same way as card back here. Otherwise, it thinks this and this are the same thing. So I have to spell this differently. So I have to put a little C all these on all these uh, spots right here. See, it thinks it's calling the script here. It's not calling a script. I'm going to call it a game object. And that's more than one time I made that mistake. Oh, and right here, display card is not spelled right. Display D-I-S-P-L-A-Y. Of course, you know, I have a great track record of misspellings. So we're going to hit save again, and then we're going to go back in Unity. So back in Unity, we're going to click on our card, go down to the bottom. We're going to grab our card back script, drag it over. And here we have our game object and our game object is our card back. We're going to click on it. We're going to drag it over. We're going to place it inside here. And as you can see in our display card script, we have a little box to check and uncheck or for our bool, make it false or true or active in this case right here. And so we're going to hit play. And right away when we play, our card back is not active. So if card back is not active, then it doesn't display the card back. Then if we click on it, it shows the card back just like we wanted. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and support me on Patreon. And a big special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. All links are in the description below. See you next time.